a household of Brianna Reed. We'll be talking about in what manner will Jesus return and how will every eye see him. Uh, her setting is 19. Interesting, because the real setting, just the way it probably Sister Ryan has done it before, says sharing your belief with a schoolmate on the bus. Sister Ryan. Hey, Katie. I heard from a friend that you're one of Jehovah's Witnesses. Is that correct? Yes, I am. Why? Good, because I needed to ask you something about your religion. Do you have a time right now? Sure. Well, it's about something I learned in church yesterday. The priest taught that when Jesus would return to the earth, he would return in the flesh. Is that what your religion teaches also? Well, let's see what the Bible says. What scripture did you read at church? Um, I was reading Revelation 7-1. I mean, 1-7. <laughs> Okay, let's look that up then. Revelation 1 7? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's read that. And I would like to hear it. Revelation 1 7. It says, Look, he is coming with the clouds, and every eye will see him, and those who pierced him, and all the tribes of the earth will beat themselves in grief because of him. Yes, amen. So, what do you think that means? Before I am, can answer that question, let me take a hiring book and go to page 342. And let's look it up. As you can see in the reading book, there are two questions. The first one is, what is indicated by the cloud? The answer is, the clouds indicate invisibility. Brianna, why don't you read the next sentence there? It says, when an airplane is in a big cloud or above the clouds, people on the ground usually cannot see it, although they may hear the roar of the engine. Okay, let's read on this further with another scripture, Acts 1 9. And this time, I'll read it. Listen carefully while I read this. It says, After he had said these things while they were looking on, he was caught and a, he was lifted up, and a cloud caught him up from their sight. So, Brianna, could they see Jesus once he was caught up in the cloud out of, out of their sight? Mm, no, I guess not. So I guess the scripture implies that when Jesus was raised up to heaven, to heaven invis invisibly, but that does not explain to me how Jesus will return to the earth. Well, think about this one. After Jesus died on earth, he basically gave up his fleshly body as a sacrifice to fulfill Jehovah's will to give everlasting life to us humans. So Brianna, would it make sense to say that Jesus could take back what he had lost, what he had gave up as a sacrifice? Mm, no, I guess not. So if Jesus is going to be returning as a spirit creature, how will every eye see him if he cannot be seen by the human eye? That is a very good question, Brianna. And to, and to do so, let's look up Matthew 24 and verse 3. Let's notice what this says. This, this is when, the, when Jesus was sitting on the Mount of Olives. It says, While he was sitting on a mount of olives, the disciples approached him privately, saying, Tell us, when will these things be? What will be the sign of your presence and the conclusion of the system of things? And notice Jesus' reply in verse 7. It says, While well, nation will rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there will be food shortages and earthquakes in one place after another. So, Jesus, what is that? that 
Jesus is present in an invisible form. I never thought about it that way. When I get home from school, I'm definitely going to tell my parents about this. Uh-oh, looks like we'll take a bus and reach our field trip destination. Maybe next time we have time, I can start a bottle thing with you. That's okay with you and your parents. Okay, sounds good. I'll ask my parents about it. Thanks for talking to me about your week. You're welcome. <laughs>